Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Laura Canfield Show, the Awaken the Happiness Now Global Series. Thank you so much for being here with us today. And today we are excited. We have Brenda Lanoff back on the show today, and we're going to be talking about healing with light language. And so I just want to thank you all so much for being here with us today, for joining us. And our mission here at the Laura Canfield Show, the Awaken the Happiness Now Global Series, is to inspire and empower you live your life filled with joy, peace, love, aban abundance, happiness, prosperity, and radiant health, to fully live in your sovereignty and your power through a personal connection with spirit. And so I just want to thank you all for taking the time to be here out of your busy schedule. And, you know, just to, we're going to learn some new things today. We're going to receive some healing. We're going to get some light language. And um, so take some notes, you know, grab a piece of paper and a pen, take some notes, be relaxed, have something to drink and uh, be comfortable. And like I said, you know, I want to thank you for being here. And your time is valuable. So we're going to get started in just a second. But I want to honor you for, for choosing to be here with us and acknowledge you for choosing more for yourself and for choosing to grow and evolve and just find out, you know, about more uh, different resources that may be of benefit to you. So um, today, like I said, we have Brenda Lanoff on the show, and we're going to be talking about healing with light language. And for those of you who don't know Brenda, she is a fellow Canadian, as I I used to consider myself Canadian. She's an intuitive guide, and um, she's here to help you clear negative emotions and assist in self-healing. Uh, various chronic health conditions, emotional and mental self-sabotage. And once Brenda intuits what is creating unease in your body, she energetically works with you to dissolve that unease, disease, and low-frequency vibration. So I'm excited to talk to Brenda about what um, what's going on uh, with her, you know, this, the late language is fairly new as far as, I, as far as I know. So I'm excited about that to hear about how she's evolved into using light language in her practice with her clients and so on, and how we can um, learn more about the light language um, and how it bypasses the logical mind. That light language is like a knowing from the heart, which some of us already know because I love light language. I just like, whew, totally expands my awareness and consciousness whenever I hear it or see it and how light language can magnify uh, healing processes, both physically and emotionally. We're gonna talk a little bit about that. We're gonna do a process and, um, and who knows, we're also gonna be taking your questions. <laughs> so if you have any questions, you can uh, type in the chat or you can raise your hand. And when, we, when it's time to take the questions, we will get to you. We'll try and take as many as we can. So please join me in welcoming Brenda to the show. Brenda, welcome. Thanks, Alara. I appreciate being here today from Alberta, Canada. So Yay. hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. And so Brenda, like I was just saying, um, mm -hmm. the light language is new since you were here last time. So can you talk a yes. little bit about how you started using the light language and how that has been evolving in your practice uh, with your clients? 2019 was uh, um, a big year it, uh, for me personally due to what I went through on a physical level. So it was February, Valentine's Day in um, Calgary, Alberta. And my husband was saying, Brenda, I don't think you should take your dog to that dog park because it's really icy. And he just had a fall a couple weeks before. I'm going, oh, whatever, you know, I'm going to take my dog to the dog park. So, you know, thanks for the warning. Mm -hmm. So I'm at the dog park and I'm kicked the ball ahead, you know, for my dog, Jet. And I could feel these two dogs came in from behind me. I flew up in the air. I crashed and I broke my right hip and I shattered my right elbow. Wow. Which then led obviously to the hospital my blood pressure spiked i just about died in surgery because they couldn't keep it under control yeah. from that they have found an underlying condition called pheochromatosis statistically this is only found if you were to google like one i had read one in five hundred thousand people and they only find these in autopsies and what that was from the result of that accident, my blood pressure going crazy, 
it means there's a tumor on a tumor on the adrenal gland. So that required another surgery a month later in March of 2019. And uh, what they found from the test work was that I had a tumor the size of a mandarin orange that was on my enmeshed in my left adrenal, which are very small. So they knew they had to go in, they had to remove the adrenal, obviously get rid of this tumor, not knowing if it was cancerous or not. Bottom line is that my dog, I totally believe this, it was because of my dog I'm alive today, I was to have the accident. If I didn't have the accident, this tumor would have never been uncovered and I could just stroke out. Mm, wow. So in between those the sur two surgeries, I was at home. I was thinking, well, I don't know if I'm going to make it in the second surgery because they can't keep my blood pressure down. Mm -hmm. So I thought I had planned for perhaps this is it. So I'm thinking, okay, what is it? Do I get cremated or, you know, what is it? Well, I needed to look at that. And so um, I'm kind of preparing, trying to be positive. And in between those two times, I felt really guided to light language. And I thought, you know, I've been feeling it. I know I spoke to my, my dog, my other dog, when we had our acreage outside of Calgary. And I was on the deck and I was emitting these sounds. And because I've been doing healing work for so long, I knew that something, I was transmitting something but I had no one to speak to about it. Mm -hmm. And so it was these and very, very native sounds, which was interesting because we backed onto this reserve, this native reserve. It's actually a very large reserve. So right behind our acreage, I mean, like there's a sweat lodge, there's, you know, ceremonial grounds. So it, you know, in, in a way it, just, it made total sense that these sounds that were coming through could very well be native sounds but i didn't realize this until i attended a conference in phoenix and so when i was speaking to an, another person very well known who does light language and and some of the people that were guests that this is what happens many times you start out speaking um with your animals so at any rate and again in between these two these two periods of time i thought i'm stepping out like I don't know if I'm going to make it and I'm tired of hiding or I'm tired of not of being afraid because why? I mean, I may not be here. I may not make it. So that sort of really initiated it. And then it was boom, here I am. So it's exciting because this is what really fools me. And yeah, I've taken, I, I, did, I really, I had to list all the different certifications over many, many years. And it was like, wow, you know, I, I feel this is sort of very pivotal. And the light language is, it came at the absolutely perfect time for me. And I feel just guided to, to share that with people. And, and uh, that's my story. <laughs> so, wow. that, that, yeah, it, it's the cool story. And, um, and so here I am a year I'm late. so glad you're still here. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, have you been using the light language for your, with yourself and with your clients? Absolutely. I, um, it's, it's great. So I'm having my zoom, my zoom session and I like to do one-on-one -on -one. and then all, all of a sudden I break out white language and some people are kind of like, okay, I'm not too sure, but they like it at the same time. And it's not that I'm able to, okay, this is exactly what's coming through uh, for you. But, um, you know, you're always feeling somewhat better. Mm -hmm. And you can get layers to this. So what I've created in my own uh, library or audio, so for various um, physical issues. So if it's a pathogen, um, you know, there's very various light language audios that I've already have created because they were just coming boom, 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 mm -hmm. one after the other. And um, so it, I, I, I do believe it really does amplify whatever is going on for you is, you know, a physical issue, an emotional issue, you know, spiritual, you know, whatever, you know, comes up that needs some, 
assistance from source. Mm -hmm. And so most people, I think, on the call, on the show, who are watching or listening now or later, are familiar with light language and what it is. But can you talk a little bit, because in case there are people who are not familiar, how light language bypasses the logical mind and how it, I don't know if I have to use the word works, but how it functions <laughs> in healing. Yeah, I just find it's really, it's just really powerful and it feels very, very ancient. Mm -hmm. You know, people could maybe refer to it speaking in tongues, but it feels very, very ancient and feels very motherly to mm -hmm. me, very, very motherly. I know that when I first spoke it, I was, this is before this, this next surgery, not knowing if I was going to come out. And all of a sudden I was just there, boo, and I would just, you know, I, I did just these sounds were emitted. And, uh, and then it, this motherly sound, motherly energy came through and was, I could feel this blender, just calm down, just calm down. Everything's going to be all right. So many times when I'm speaking it, there's different uh, entities of the light that are coming through and it's like, they're taking turns. It's like, okay, it's my turn now to speak. Oh, now it's my turn to speak. So I'm never too sure who needs to come through. I, I, you know, I can't say, oh, for sure, this is, you know, whomever. I'm not trying to identify the angel or, you know, um, or, or whoever that could be, because there can be a variation of who comes through. You know, it could be angelic, it could be uh, elemental, it could be galactic. We, we never know who's gonna come through. And it is always of the light. Yeah. So knowing that we're just, we're being guided and it's not, and, and it's getting this direct connection. So your head doesn't get in the way. So, our, you know, with muscle testing or whatever, you, you just want to get your head out of the way. Mm -hmm. And this sort of bypasses as directly as you say, right to the heart. And, uh, and this is what we want. We don't want to have to, Oh, analyze it. Oh, does that feel right? This is going directly to what our soul, what our soul requires to hear. Mm -hmm. And it could be that it's something that you need to hear over and over again, because each time you're listening, there's different layers that are coming up to experience that to, to heal. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it's a knowing from the heart, meaning it, it, it's, it's not mind-based, but it is, um, heart based it's more soul based right and it's it's like a it's like a language of the soul so the soul recognizes the language you know yes, so we perfect. here in our 3d may not recognize what it means or anything but the soul recognizes it and um uh responds in that way right yes perfect yeah i i like it because it's like part of the reason why i like language is that i don't have to think about it you know, mm -hmm. I can just accept mm -hmm. it and be and let it do its thing. You know, it's mm -hmm. energy, it's frequency, it's vibration. And normally light language is a higher frequency, a higher vibration than our regular everyday language that we use, right? Right. Well, you know, what's really interesting. So within this last year, I've been working with practitioners and as in muscle testing, we're getting percentages. So we would start out, what is the percentage of whatever issue at out of a hundred percent because we want it to be at a hundred percent so we're all testing okay 23 25 or whatever that is very close in our measurements downloading the light language and where are we now so we're getting measurements hmm. so differences between where you are now and where you are after at, the light language. absolutely and everyone that's, that's very good at muscle testing we're coming up within the same ranges. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. It's like, you know, cause, because you question, you know, we're like, really, you know, when I was doing, and, and I still go through that, like, really, you know, but it, when you get measurements like that, it just, that's it. You, you've put a cap on it. You, you you're feeling like this is for real, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, you're not, you're not making this up. And when you, you know, work with that many people, and you're coming up with the, within the same range, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. and, and what we have found is that we were working uh, with the Epstein-Barr virus, just saying, so many layers, as many of us know, and not realizing 
how potent it can be. And just like, and you got to make sure you're, you know, taking time in between the light language sessions. And so you're able to detox properly. Uh, it's, it can be very, it's very, very powerful. Good. Yeah. I'm glad to hear. Um, and, and that's what, you know, we like to hear uh, is that the work that you're doing, you're having results. I mean, I know there's no guarantees, but you know, that you can see the difference by yes. including or in, and or using the light language with your other uh, tools in, 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 your, in your toolbox, right? Yes. Yes, awesome. that's why it's so exciting. And it's not that I've, I mean, I've had people like, again, like I've mentioned that I've been working with. So, um, and many of them are already testing, you know, and so it, you're getting like verification. Mm -hmm. And so it, yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's very cool. Mm -hmm. It's just very cool. And you say that the, using light language is it's it magnifies the healing that you've been doing, or it magnifies the the I'm assuming the physical and emotional and mental and spiritual healing, right? Yes, at all levels. At all levels, and and that's what you've been able to document, I guess you could say, with the with the testing. More so on the physical. So mm -hmm. because I work with pathogenics and been trained in pathogenics, also within the last few years. So it's when we get to it within the one-to-one -one sessions, we get to a specific pathogen. Yes. And because so many times, you know, I've mentioned before the call started, but what comes first, the egg or the chicken, the chicken or the egg, that's that the, the same. Mm -hmm. And many times there can be a spiritual experience that is directly related to the pathogen. Many times there can be trapped emotions, quote, quote, that can be related to the pathogen. So you, you don't know, but what many times what I found is that when I find out what that is, download the light language, that then can clear the virus or pathogen. Mm. Okay, cool. So talk a little <laughs> bit about the pathogens because people might not know what that means and how they can relate that to their physical life. What are pathogens? Wow, well, pa pathogens, they can, you know, they can be like viruses, um, bacteria, when I, I'll say pathogenics as, as the umbrella. Mm -hmm. So viruses, pathogens, heavy metal, uh, toxicity, um, it can be, you know, even like bites from um, bugs or like, of course, viruses in general, as we know. Mm -hmm. It's a big concern considering there's, and, and not for the whole fear factor, but they're there, you know, yeah. toxicity. Is it related to the chemtrails? Is it related to the, whatever is in our water, fluoride or whatever, you know? So it's a great way to add to what all you're already doing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be a standalone but if you're already aware of some issues, then awesome. You know, listen to that audio. And when I listen to my own voice, and I don't want to sound like this egotistical, oh my gosh, I'm just so wonderful. But when I'm listening, I'm also, because it's soul to soul, I'm also um, really um, feeling the effects and my body is responding. So, and I guess for an, anyone that does light language, just so you can, you feel it mm -hmm. uh, for the most part. And so, yeah, you know, we, we just do our best. And if, if this helps in any way with anyone, then it's, it's awesome. And not having to think about it, because it's again that, you know, from source to our souls, what our soul needs to hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to ask um, uh, if anybody has a question, you can type it in the chat or you can raise your hand. So I know Odile had written in before we started. Um, she said she just got fired and wondered if light language could help send job opportunities her way. <laughs> well, I guess one, one never knows. Uh, would it send <laughs> job opportunities your way? You know what I would say that it would do? I would never promise something like that. But what it will do is raise your vibration. Mm -hmm. So by raising your vibration, because if you just got fired, you're feeling pretty crappy. I mean, 
I've been fired before. I know what that feels like. So you're not going to feel at your best, obviously. So of course, you want to raise your vibration and light language will help on the emotional level, spiritual level to raise your vibration. And then when you're feeling better about yourself, when there's, you know, you're feeling lighter, then those energies of those companies or whatever are more apt to be attracted to you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we, we want to clear the fears out of the way and, and trauma. Oh my gosh, the trauma. So it's vital because we can be trauma. It's, it's trauma. You're dealing with trauma. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Period. Yeah. So it's, it's, and it could be post-traumatic stress with the trauma being fired. Of course, it's very, very, very personal. So that's what I would say is working with the trauma, releasing the trapped emotions, downloading the light language, just to raise your vibration and just feeling better. You're there for again, you're going to be more apt to attracting the right people to you, the right mm -hmm. job opportunities. It just makes sense. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Randy's asking if, if you have any experience that yet with DNA damage from FQAD. I don't know what FQAD means. I should know by now because Randy's mentioned it many times. But. Oh, well, any experience yet with the DNA damage? Guess we can get DNA damage from so many areas like oh my gosh as I mentioned like chemtrails mm -hmm. or like from you know we, there's a lot of weird things that are happening out there that are now being disclosed thank goodness you know awareness is key so there's a lot of things being exposed uh, exposed right now yeah. um, can we um, so, so I was just going to say really structure quickly. our DNA or can we build up our DNA? You know, is this something I would honestly would have to work with? Yeah. So obviously Randy, nobody else has, you know, FQAD that Brenda's worked with, but when it comes to DNA damage, um, you know, I, I do think that light language can help with that, with the restructuring, like you said. Um, but you know, each case would be different, right? Right. You know, it's a, it's an interesting question. And, you know, does our, you know, our DNA, is it get damaged? Well, yes, it does. Yeah. And, but great, you know, obviously that would be an awesome area to really uh, concentrate on because I think most of us could have some DNA damage. I mean, why not? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, so if, if we're down to a matter to energy, energy to matter at that DNA level, yes. So there can be um, you know, our, our DNA can be not at a hundred percent for various reasons, you mm -hmm. know, environmental yeah. obviously is one. So, and even emotional can affect our DNA. Now, again, mm -hmm. I don't know what you mean by with the FQAD. I don't know what that stands for. Yeah, just, if, if you want to type that in. It's floral quinolone associated disability. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what that <laughs> yeah. is. I'd have to study it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's something that, you know, you would have to explore further for sure, because it's not something you've come across yet in your work. No, no. <laughs> no one yeah. has asked that yet. But just in general, working with the DNA, like, yes, I think we all, you know, there's many ways that we can work with that and, mm -hmm. and help build up and repair the DNA. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Susanna is asking for better incoming jobs or better jobs coming forward so again that's about raising your vibration so when we yes. do the light language process later on that's going to help to raise your vibration which is going to you know can attract mm -hmm. you know different possibilities for sure yes um yeah and so the arietta is asked no sorry jesse is asking or mm -hmm. saying i started hearing light language right after being a reiki too attuned but it scared me so mm -hmm. i have heard it a few times since then my question is, how can I invite it back as I'm not as intimidated by it? Mm, yeah, good question. Believe me, I, I understand that when I, when it, in between those two surgeries, as I mentioned, I was just like, I was kind of scared. It was kind of creepy. <laughs> and so mm -hmm. I, I do, I, I do understand how, how you can be and just be, you know, we'll just, just push through that. Um, I do have in one, that one package, a, um, a layer where it does help with uh, just so you come out as a, as a uh, doing light work. And so, mm -hmm. but that can definitely be something that we can work with. 
um, and, and just so that to get you out of the fear factor. And, and so definitely that's something that don't give up on that. Oh my gosh, if you've been doing Reiki and you're attuned to it, then just keep at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. they're, 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 You know, as long as your, your vibration is up, you're connecting with source, you're totally protected, then there's no worries for you to, oh my gosh, you know, someone's going to come in or this dark darkness is going to come in. Just knowing that you're totally protected, um, you know, you could be doing Reiki on yourself and then get that connection and just allow your voice to mm -hmm. let it go. Work, work through it because you, you can do this. Absolutely. Um, Arietta says, my main issue, um, infections and viruses. Recently, the sp spirit wanted me to know that my gut has parasites. Mm. Can I have a reading, please? Can you see the cause? Okay. Well, <laughs> infections and viruses, you know, that's a huge, huge topic. And parasites. Um, yeah, yeah, parasites. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we can definitely ask the question, what is the main reason that could be underlying that? And um, there, there's so many areas of infections and viruses. I really think that's something that, you know, it's, it's a very, very broad question. But when I ask right away, let's just, just ask on a very, you know, layer here. So I'm asking, you know, uh, is it infections and viruses, is it something um, see, I'm not getting that it's something on a physical level that would be priority. And uh, I'm getting more on a spiritual level. So what I would say is that breaking it down, what is it on a spiritual level that you need to hear, that your, that, that, that your soul needs to hear that will help you to heal so you're not attracting so much of the parasites in the in the viruses and you know i'm going to suggest um that alara that we do some light language now mm -hmm. because you know people don't know and they're just you know you have stuff and and you're not too positive how this is going to work right. so what i am going to suggest is that we that i'll be downloading light language now Mm -hmm. And then if something comes up for more specific, because that's so, um, so general for infections and viruses that I need to get more specific than that. Um, but as I mentioned, the first thing that came through to me was spiritual that was behind all this. But firstly, let's just do some light language here. And so I'm going to be breaking this uh, down to, to three parts. And the first part is that we're going to get alignment with source energy. And the second part, we just want to release some of those lower vibrational energies that are the low self-esteem, the unworthiness, the hopelessness, and, um, you know, that all of those fears that we can hold in our body. And then the third part of this light language is strengthening so that your more telepathic and awakening and, and, and strengthening your intuition. Because when we strengthen our intuition, we are more apt to be happy. I mean, we, our, our, we're, our awareness is there, our more focus is there, our thoughts are there. So before we begin, I'm just gonna invite you all if you happen to have some water, because I'm gonna have some. So just strengthen everybody here just to relax, take a deep breath in. If you happen to have some water, I invite you to have a drink with me here on February the 20th. Okay. So we're going to be calling in Source to be with us now. And getting that direct connection with source energy for everyone here that is on the call and for everyone here who listens at a later date. So calling in entities of the light and only from the light now just to 
raise our vibration. We're asking to release any and all lower vibrational energies held within our chakra fields, held within the DNA of the body. All those lower vibrational energies, please help dissipate those now. I <laughs> I am a しかてかせかねげし、あひことことこと。あいとことかしきてけてけしゅしかたい、あひかかかよのかせ。あかたいそこないかおいかたい。あれかしきてしかたかあいそこのあいどんや。あいそこどんやしきどくしゃか。しか
Aia pachu ko da ia do ia. Aia chui ki te katai. Shu ke di se na ia so ko do shi ka te ke si ka i. Si ka da ia ho ia 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 ho ia ia ia. Uia ke si ka sa ka te ka te ia so no ia. Pushu ke te. Pushu ke te ia se ia la ka i ia si ka si ka to ia. Ai, 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 xuxa, ai, xuxa, catai, eu sou, ia, o, se que te, se que te, xuxa, xuxa, xuxa. So, just allowing that energy to settle, and you may feel sensations, you may not, if not, it's not to worry, you're still receiving this, these downloads. We're asking Creator to please download with ease and grace for everyone on this call. Again, everyone is going to be listening at a later date now. Okay, and if you have a drink of water, you may have a, you want to have a sip. Oh, beautiful. That was lovely. Wow. Yeah, I definitely, uh, definitely felt a lot. <laughs> wow, thank Good. you. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Susanna said, thank you. This makes me very playful. Everything sinks in and I get to just be however. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it does. They can be very playful, you know, and <laughs> I almost felt like a, like a little bit of fairy energy coming in and just, you know, like, just kind of like, come on, let's just take it easy, just relax, you know, not be so stressed out. It's kind of the feel. And at times I get this feeling of, it's not like I'm hearing word by word by word, but you definitely get a sense of, you know, how, how, what's required or what's being transmitted. Yeah, I'm still yawning, so I'm st still... Okay, and, and that, yeah, absolutely, it's still, you know, and I can... I don't know about you, but I know, and in my calls, many of them, um, I just get this pressure up here, and many times right in my top of my head mm -hmm. is uh, with uh, light language, uh, and that's how I feel it. So if you feel any sensations at all, and you may or may not, uh, or you feel just generally lighter, mm -hmm. just knowing that this is this is working, this integrating, and um, yeah, I felt a lot of uh, at the end, especially uh, at the beginning, I felt uh, a lot of expansiveness in, in, in the heart space in the chest. And at the end, near the end, I felt it again, like a fluttering, you know, in the front of my chest, um, as well as like other places. So I felt all sorts of sensations, but I also found that my mind was really active and I was like, what was that? So it's like, oh, and so part of that was also like remind giving me a reminding me of something that I hadn't done in a long time. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll do that next time. You know, kind of thing. It's like, it's like, it was like a memory of something that I've, I've wow, done. Wow, you feel very, years. very galactic, Ella. It was great. I loved it. Thank like you. Like you, you, very galactic. Yeah. Def, definitely, as I'm sure you, you know. So, uh, yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, no, it was great. So Renda says, um, feeling movement within not of the body and pat says thank you brenda i feel lighter and um joe says thank you does the light language give people what they each individually need at the moment or is it yes. provide more of a general healing frequency for us wow that's a good question and it's perfect because that's what it is it's, so it's for whatever you require at the moment so even though this was for everyone is going to be exactly what your soul needs to hear mm -hmm. so you could come back to this exact this replay of Alara's and listen to it again and it's just like more layers of what needs to surface are gonna you know you're gonna experience that so is it something you can listen to again and again and again and 
and allowing those layers just to surface and dissipate. Um, I, yeah, it, as, as mentioned, it's so cool when you get the measurements and that's more um, on a physical level. Uh, mm -hmm. you, can, you, you can notice it on, on a spiritual level, just feeling like lighter, more clear headed. And, um, and then on emotional uh, also very much uh, clear and, and lightheaded. So I work with many <clears throat> modalities and, you know, as many of us probably too. So uh, it, it really is a great uh, uh, complement to anything that you're doing. Mm -hmm. and, it, it, and if you feel uh, somewhat um, guided to do light language, I, I, I'm going to be putting out a program here uh, in, in a while and just to help people really get over overcome the fears and um, and definitely can do that in a one-to-one -one session because you don't maybe realize that these fears of speaking out could be something that you have been, you came into this world with mm -hmm. you know perhaps you had fears because you spoke out perhaps you had fears that you spoke out at some you know, pre-existing time, if you believe in that or something, it was inherited, an ancestor that inherited those fears. And so it, that could be holding you back right now, speaking light language. So it's yeah. really good to get at what, what is behind that. And that's definitely in my one-to-one -one sessions is where we can go there. And I'm intuiting, what are the fears? What is that? Yeah. And dr drill down to that and we'll go through and we'll clear them. And so Absolutely. that it enables you then to step out. So, you know, for me, what I get is like, it, it was a general frequency for all of us, but we each individually interpret it, our soul interprets it individually, uh, specifically for what we need, right? So, yeah. yes. And, and so the, the, that's why you, you can't try and figure it out, you know, what, what's going to happen or what's happening. The lang the, the it's not like Brenda's doing light language. The light language is coming through her. Yes. You know, it's being channeled through through you, uh, Brenda, right? For yeah, it's like, it, exactly. It's like prayer. It's, it's not that I'm putting myself out as this guru. <laughs> you know, I'm open to it and very intuitive. And so this is just even allowing more intuition. So, yeah. you know, I believe we all can speak like language and uh, it's just a matter of Mouse. Getting out of our own way. <laughs> Get out of your way. Step out. Let's find out what's what's blocking you from from speaking it. So uh, that's what I love to do in my coaching calls. Yeah. So it's about so Brenda's channeling and we're receiving. So are you willing to to receive whatever frequencies and vibrations are coming through? And your soul knows your higher self, and your soul is going to pick up what it needs. You know, in in the moment, right? Exactly. Yes. That's what I, that's what I think. That's what I go with. Um, did she just say, try to understand it? No, no, you can't, you can't logically try to understand no. the light language. All you can do is be willing to receive it. Uh, now, if you're, if your ear is still vibrating, then that's great. You know, that you, that you know that you're downloading this. So, you know, I, I, if somebody has like a general kind of physical issue, Maybe what we could do, Alara, is just I can, or uh, just in general, um, um, sort of see what's going on. Um, maybe there's a, uh, let me just say, a specific ache or pain. What, what, why don't we do that? So mm -hmm. a specific ache or pain that you're going through, not something you've had, you know, the last 20 years uh, that, <laughs> that would be right, but something that sort of cropped up lately. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm going to be doing is intuiting where I need to go and then adding light language. So I can give a real true example here mm -hmm. of where it goes. So somebody mentioned shoulders. So, I'm going to ask, what does that mean, shoulders? There's something specifically to the shoulders, or when you say shoulders, what does that mean? So, if a person could just write in, uh, you know, what what it is as to the shoulders. Oh, okay. Back. Oh, there's a lot of people that want help. Yeah. So, Susanna says pain in the shoulders. 
Okay, so usually pain, pain is it in, you know, in the, in the shoulder blades, like in between the shoulders. Um, so that's Susanna. Mm -hmm. So we're getting pain in shoulders. And Susanna, if you could type in, is it one shoulder? Which shoulder? Is it both shoulders? If so, between zero and 10, what's the intensity of that pain in the shoulders? And then we'll, we'll, we'll just go from there. Mm -hmm. So what's the intensity of the pain in the shoulders, Susanna? Ten. And is it the right shoulder or left shoulder? Right. If you can just, that, that just helps me if out. If you can type that in, that'd be great. Yeah. And uh, so let's just, uh, while well, Susanna, you're typing that in. Okay, so the right side might be six. Okay, so right shoulder, six, but sometimes it's really tight, then it's eight. So it's more the right shoulder, six to eight. Okay, and then, you know, obviously it's good to know, like when did, Susanna, can you talk? Can you speak up in this versus typing? Is that something that you could, open up. Susanna, can you unmute yourself? That way, it's just so we're not so going back and forth on messengers so much. Yeah. But if, if you can, if not, then... Um, yeah, then so I'll, I'll go ahead and unmute you. Go ahead, Susanna. Okay, hello. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi there. <laughs> okay, so we're getting your right shoulder six to eight. How long have you had this discomfort? Uh, actually quite long it's a little bit better but it's still bugging <laughs> oh so how long have you how long have you had this pain in your right shoulder <clears throat> uh for a few years okay so a few years okay and okay so this pain in the right shoulder what does it feel is it a burning sensation or w what is that it's like a tightness in um a, a tightness yeah, and sometimes it uh, moves. There's a little bit pain through my collarbone. Mm -hmm. And it almost feels like it's inside the joint. Right, okay. Like so, there's something. <clears throat> so I'm just checking. Um, okay, so I'm getting guided to look at a, <clears throat> an organ that's related to an organ. And I'm just checking in, well, what? What organ is this related to as to the shoulders? So um, I'm just checking in truth as to, as to that. Okay. So let's just see here where we, um, okay, I'm actually getting right to the colon. So that may not make sense, but let's just see what comes up. And as to, okay, so there's something happening with as to the colon related to the right shoulder okay and let's just checking in um okay i'm getting this energy of sorrow for you um susanna just this 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 sorrow and when i check in further is this something that you it's like you've been carrying the the load you've been carrying the load for is for your family does that make sense to you You've been carrying a load, that uh, emotional load. Like a heavy burden? Susanna? Yeah. Oh, maybe she can't speak. But any, that, that, that's what I'm getting, Susanna. So that there's some emotional load that you've been carrying. So what we're going to do is call on Creator, on Source, and ask them to, Creator to Source, to help clear out that all those emotions that then can create physical issues in the body. So let's just go ahead now and ask for assistance if, as to the, any sorrow or, or sadness and any of those lower vibrations that are held in, in the, kid, or the colon uh, directly related to the right shoulder. And as to the right shoulder directly related to the uh, colon. 
When I ask if this sorrow again is, see, I'm not getting that this, I felt that this emotional load was put upon you. It's not something you ask for, it's just like, you do it, Susanna. This is your job. This yeah, is, she, this she is your wrote job. in the chat. People tend to put their emotions on me. Okay, so what we want to do is strengthen you so that your boundaries are stronger. We all need most of us have problems with boundaries because we weren't allowed to have boundaries, and maybe you weren't allowed to have boundaries. This is like, no, you know, this is your job, this is what you need to do. So we're going to be calling in light language to help Susanna strengthen her boundaries and and again just clearing out any of those lower vibrational energies in the body that are causing the dis discomfort because unless our boundaries are strong then this is going to continue you will have people continually wanting to dump on you saying it's your job so let's just strengthening the boundaries uh, now and calling on source to help us raise our vibration and strengthen our boundaries. Take a deep breath in and relax and blow it out. We just want to get that warrior. I just want to get this warrior energy for you. Just like, no, my boundaries are up. You know, don't invade my boundaries. And sometimes we need that warrior energy. And strengthening to release all those lower vibrational energies that have been picking up from other people. Sending in some love and healing energies just to replace all those lower vibrational energies now. Okay, take in a deep breath, Susanna, and then I'd like you to move your shoulders around, see if things kind of shifted or not. Anybody else who has kind of some stiffness in their body, just, just, and if so, just, maybe you can just post it. All right, how are you doing, Susanna? And anybody else who maybe has noticed a shift, just to mark it in. 
And as I say that, as with for myself, just so you know, because obviously it affects me too, I was just getting this creakiness in my neck. It just, now I'm getting kind of like, it wasn't there before, which is indicates to me like I'm just, there's just more fluidity. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not so no stiff. So. So Susanna says, yes, thank you. I also felt something leaving from my head in the right side. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Yay. And that's the that's thing. Awesome. It's like, you know, even though Brenda was working with Susanna, I was still feeling, perceiving, sensing the light language working on me. So if you're willing to receive, you can receive from, you know, other people who are getting work done, right? Absolutely. With so many of these healing modalities, absolutely. So, no, that's awesome. So yeah. good. Awesome. Good. You want to do one more or let me see. Sure. Um, Julia has pain in her back. So of course, Julia, we're going to want to know back pain. So of course, Brenda's going to want to know a little bit more like um, zero to 10 and where in the back it might be. Lower back burning eight. <laughs> Lower back burning eight. And how long have you had this, Julia? Do you know, like how many, how long have you had? Oh, two, two, oh, days. two days. Okay, well, that's good. I mean, when it's, <laughs> it's a shorter period of time for something special like this, like a demo like this, this is good. Okay, so let's just check in. And I just want to ask and get the, getting that connection with you, uh, Julia. So if you happen to have some water, again, I'm really big on the water because we're really moving a lot of energy through. So if you can mm -hmm. have a drink. Okay. So I'm just getting that connection with Julia. And just so that you know, I'm a practitioner for many, many modalities. And I don't think I need to list them off here, but everything works together. So I'm just checking in with Julia and I'm, I'm if you see me moving, that's actually my body. This is when I go back, my body's saying no, my body's going forward. Yes, it's actually called a sway. It's actually sway testing from doing it sitting. And that's one of the things. And if you don't muscle test, I do teach you that in the one-to-one -one, and I ensure and I guarantee you that you will be muscle testing. I love to see people muscle test and so they get more empowered and you doing these things on their own. So I'm just asking again uh, for Julia, what is a major issue for the um, back pain? Oh, okay, things are starting to open up here and um, oh, okay. So I'm just asking where, you know, where do we need to go? Okay, so there's some really some negative um, emotions that are coming in right now and um, that are contributing to the um, back pain. And I'm feeling a lot of betrayal energy. It's like you've been stabbed, stabbed in the back. So this betrayal um, energy and betrayal. And um, we've all felt betrayal at times. And we can feel betrayal at any time, especially by, well, I want to say the government, or there's so many areas that we can feel betrayed, mm -hmm. but, um, but we can all, or we can pick up other people's betrayal as well. And in fact, when I asked that, is, uh, is this Julia's betrayal? No, it's not. So did Julia pick this up? Yes, yeah, so I'm getting that you actually picked up the energy of betrayal from someone else that's affected you, that's in your body. So we can pick up energies from anyone, um, as you can pick up, you know, entities or, or whatever, curses. Um, but I'm getting that this isn't yours. And so what we're going to do is ask for assistance uh, to clear out all of that um, betrayal energy uh, that, okay, that really isn't yours, but you've absorbed it. So, okay, so again, um, we're calling in assistance and uh, from source to help clear out all the betrayal or 
and that message on a soul to soul level for Julia exactly what your soul requires, what is your soul needs. So this is to you, Julia, and it very well may be applicable, you know, for some other people in here dealing with that, that um, betrayal energy, soul to soul. I say like a day, say like a day, I hang you know. Is she, cause she could die. A e coca, o coca, e can I say. I like a she, 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 suck a day. Naka so no, ya. No say, no say, nice day. Nice day, nice so cold shake upon ya. I like a tiny scene ya. Oh, shake I. I am nice, you could day, she can say, Kai. I know, say, couple knock, check, I like a shiko noise, she got daya. I a pushy get a shush. Shusha katahia, shusha katahia, shusha katahia, who took it, got to go to get a ticket. She got out, she got out, she got out, she got out, jump, down, tank, 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 she tank, she could die. やく。しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、しかし、し
and make sure they're drinking lots and lots of water, good quality water, of course, obviously too, and just allowing the energies to settle. And then when you listen to the replay, of uh, Larry's replay, that um, you might as well, because you'll gain benefit by listening to it again, mm -hmm. you know, as long as it's up. And then of course, Mm -hmm. If anyone, per, you know, with the audios that can be purchased in um, as well, or in my one-to-one -one sessions where I guess if we get into that, Alara, what that, what that yeah. is. So Carol is asking, is this also connected to jealousy of others? Uh, what we just did with Julia, the betrayal thing mm -hmm. with Julia, is that also connected to jealousy of others? I, I'm not getting that for, for Julia. No. Could it, could it be for yourself? I, I'm not picking that, that, that up related to the uh, back pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, 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 I wasn't getting that either. So no, no. no. Um, Randy saying the light around you is remarkable. <laughs> oh, it does look really bright. I was, after I read that I'm going, it is really uh, yeah. bright. <laughs> It is. That's Absolutely. good. We, we, I called in a lot of uh, healing light to protection, a bubble. Mm -hmm. And may, maybe that's what you're um, observing right now, which is really awesome. Mm. So <laughs> Anne says, my left fourth toe has been quite painful, but feels better after the last download. Oh, awesome. awesome. That, that, that's really good to hear. And yeah, it's just it's so cool how you can get together like this in a group uh, session and everybody's sort of gaining benefit when we're working mm -hmm. on one person or you may look at it another way we were all guided to be here and we may have had some you know experiences in this lifetime or you know mm -hmm. maybe another time and so there's no such thing a coincidence so and carol crazy. saying i felt heat on my face and then like an invisible mask mask like energy being pulled off mm -hmm. my face i also felt dark smoke coming out of my heart Oh, wow. good. Awesome. That's powerful. Oh, that's, yeah. that's very powerful. I know my head's still tingling. Mm -hmm. It sometimes what happens for me is I get waves that go be, you know, light language that come in and then it's like, okay, I'm good. And then like, whoosh, <laughs> you yeah. know, I'm getting, I'm getting some more waves that can come in and I think people feel it differently, but I, I sure do feel it like I get in my head region. That seems mm -hmm. to be, be my area. So so please drink lots of water. <clears throat> yes, and so, um, so Brenda, you were just talking about your special offer. So let's talk about that for a few minutes. So for those of you who are on the live page, you can just click on special offer. And those of you who are not, you can go to alara.at forward slash show forward slash Brenda two. And so Brenda has two packages, package A and package B. Package A is um, Brenda's light language audio package. And then package B is all of package A plus a personal session. So Brenda, let's talk about package A first. So there's four audios, right, in this package. Yes. And um, so this is, you know, I mentioned like how we can be so hard on ourselves. We can get a lot of self-judgment. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, that, that can really do us in. And so we, we, you know, we have to work on this a lot. Yeah. It's a it's an ongoing process, so it really will help you uh, get more in harmony with your body, and and that includes physical pain. So, because mm -hmm. we can be so hard again on ourselves, and that's one of the most toxic things that we can do. So, self judgment. And so, these are light language audios, right? These so are light. These... Yes, these are all light language audios, and uh, and as as you listen to them every time, every time you're gonna. You know, your soul is going to hear something else that it needs to hear. So you're healing at a different level every single time that you're listening. So mm -hmm. that's what's great. And the second audio is permission, healing permission. You know, we have to give ourselves permission to heal. And if we don't, then, you know, what happens is that so we have to get that permission and give ourselves permission that we, you know, we can heal on a physical level, uh, on a spiritual and emotional levels, all these different levels. So that's really important. We need to feel it at a soul level that you deserve to heal. We, we deserve to, to be healthy. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it may, may not feel like it. And, and you'll believe me, I, I've had tremendous amount of challenges, like probably a lot of us have, but yeah, we do deserve that, but we have to give ourselves permission. The third audio is Lightworkers Help. It's just to, it's, it's to activate us, 
you know, to help us do what we came here to do. You know, like we're all here to help out. And especially mm -hmm. as, as we've heard over and over again, but at these times, you know, we've all heard the same message. So let's do it. You know, let's, let's just sort of get in, let's get activated so we can do what we're supposed to do here, whatever that is, as our sole purpose. And then the fourth audio is, I, I wanted this audio to be on a more physical level. Mm -hmm. So we're working with the mitochondria of the DNAs to absorb and, you know, process, process the fatty acids and glucose. And, you know, so it's just helping the digestive system. And, um, you know, stress causes a lot of digestive issues. So that just alone, uh, by working on our digestive system, can really help raise our vibration. Mm -hmm. It's all part of that, you know, a couple of people are saying, well, how do I want a new job or how do I attract the right people to me? Every level that we're guided to, when you work on this area, you work on that area, it all combines and it's going to help you raise your vibration so you are attracting the right people in your life, no matter if it's work related or a mm -hmm. relationship of no matter what, it's it's going to help. Everything works one by one. So that's that um, audio, uh, four audios there, and that's for uh, value two hundred for seventy seven dollars. Mm -hmm. And then package B includes all of those four audios plus the personal session yes. with you, the forty five minute session with you, which also includes um, a recording of their own light language to use you know, ongoing, yes. right? So let's talk yes. a little bit about that. What does, what does that look well, like? That, that's going to be very personalized. So whatever comes up, whatever is priority for you, you're going to have this audio to refer to, and it's going to be very, very personalized. So it specifically for you addresses only for you what those concerns are that we're being guided to. So if you come to me and you say, oh, I've got infections in my body and my doctor told me and oh my gosh, and, okay, what is that? So it could be that I'm guided to look at a, at, at a virus mm -hmm. of some type. Okay, so here's the audio. Every time you listen to this audio, you are gonna get better and better and better and better. Awesome. So that's an example of, of um, how it can help uh, on a physical level. And so it's listening. I tell a lot of you know, people within my groups to just listen back to back. And every time you listen it back to back, you know, you might put it on a little volume, you're going to get the same results. So uh, just, you know, guide you to listen to it. If you're feeling you know, you're kind of out of sorts, then go back to that particular audio. So this here is, again, it's personalized. It's exactly what your soul requires. Uh, if it's on a physical level, if it's on a spiritual level, like, you know, you're just feeling blah and mm -hmm. you just need guidance and you need to feel more of that joyfulness and more of that happiness than whatever I feel guided to to download or it's being downloaded, I'm in the middle person i guess that's one way that you could i'm um, you know i'm here but i i'm the vehicle to help you mm -hmm. you yeah. know that that's what it's all about it's just not like i'm the guru i'm here to assist as you're here to assist for whatever you do we're all here to assist mm -hmm. period you know so so what kind of issues can people bring to that personal session Again, if it's a physical issue, if they're having some aches and pains, um, if they're feeling, they're, you know, they're not in their body, they're just, they're not right, they're not in their body, they don't know what's going on, Is, are there entities that are attached? Mm -hmm. you, know, uh, you know, entities don't like people who are in the light, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're, they're going to try to drag you down. So it, we, we need to raise our vibration. And so the entities are maybe not so apt to come in. So it's raising your vibration. Uh, it, it's, it's saboteur. There's some saboteur energies going on or somebody's sending you curses. 
you know, we can find out what that is and, uh, you know, just strengthening your body, raising your vibration. So if there's a misalignment, um, say in your back, uh, there's some circuitry issues. If you relate, if, if, if your body's saying, oh my gosh, I'm so toxic to that mercury from my dental feelings that's evaded my body or invading my body, then we go through some light language activation to download and dissolve the uh, particular heavy metal toxicity. Mm -hmm. So again, awesome. every time you listen to it, you're just releasing more and more or dissolving because we want it to dissolve, not necessarily releasing your body, but just where you're dissolving. Awesome. And so we were talking before we went live a little bit, we we're talking about issues such as osteoporosis or osteoarthritis. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. can those types of issues also be brought up with you in that personal session? What I would say is that because I, I, I have arthritis, I have a degree of arthritis myself. I will never say I'm 100% perfect. Am I able to alleviate the symptoms where I have, I'm not on any medication like ever? Uh, once in a while, maybe a leave, you know, like I, I rarely take anything. Will it help? Yes. Will the goal be to that we can get your bones strong, you know, for uh, within the, the, the center of your bones and, and all layers within the, leg, the, the bones strong so that they're able to handle any toxicity, then that's an area that I would go. So what I promise, oh, by doing the like language, just gonna cure you of this, this and that, I would never say that. I don't think mm -hmm. it's right, right to do that. Yeah. But will, will it help you? Will it help your body? Because it's not me. Will it help your body assist you to self-heal? Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, and so um, Renda is asking, all physical issues have a spiritual cause, even accidents? Oh, yeah. <laughs> As I mentioned, I had my dog, you know, it was interesting because um, before I had my accident where the, my, these two dogs came from behind me cause they made sure I had an accident. Mm. So I believe and that might sound kind of out there. I believe my dog was communicating with those dogs, make sure she has an accident and then it's a good one. And so, yes, there absolutely, there's a spiritual behind that because if I didn't have the accident, break my hip, shatter my right elbow they have, would have never uncovered a tumor on mm -hmm. my left adrenal gland i may not be here today mm -hmm. right so yes we do have accidents it's no accident to have accidents <laughs> yeah there's always a reason for it there's, there there's always a reason for it mm -hmm. but that's okay because we can find out what it is yeah. Awesome. <laughs> like we're gonna ask you know it's fun we're, okay what, what what's behind that <laughs> and so we, we can find out what that is and then bring in ask for assistance from source to help you so that's what you do in the personal with session the, with would, the trauma would... help you with the trauma yeah. of the accident you know and so we're at with source coming in it's, it's gonna help you awesome thank you good so those two Offers are available at alara.at forward slash show forward slash Brenda two. So please do take a look at those, um, especially, you know, the, you know, if you want to get the private session with Brenda, as well as the uh, light language audios, um, then definitely look at package B and get that. All right. And that, that will, you know, help, help you in whatever way that you need, but she'll, she'll, Brenda will work to find out sometimes the cause of the issue, you know, and maybe next step. And she's going to teach you how to muscle test for yourself. <laughs> well, I, I do. And, you know, if you're interested, if you're not interested, that's fine. But honestly, why, why not get as empowered as much as possible? And if you feel kind of blocked, like, oh, I can't, you know, I can't do this. I can't do that. Then I'm going to dig in and find out why is that? Is it something generational? Does it go back 30 generations? I can test that. And I get, you know, images come to me. And you know what's the fun thing to do when I'm working one-to-one? -one? 
person is, you know, they're, they're, wow, they're really getting into this testing. If I, if this image comes up and I'm expressing what that is, and they're also feeling it in their body, it's very powerful. So it's a great confirmation of, you know how you could go to a psychic and they can say, oh, and then this happened and that happened. And then, but when you can feel it in your body, it's extremely empowering. When you can feel energy shift, um, it's very empowering. So I encourage anyone that has a session with me, all my clients, you know, learn to muscle test. And I teach you various ways to do it. It'll get you strong. If you feel like there's something in the way, is it an entity? Is there someone trying to shut you down your power? Is there somebody else that's sabotaging you? Uh, who is it? Or do we need even know you to know who it is? But find out what's going on. Get rid of the stuff that's in your way. You get empowered. Calling in light language to assist in whatever way it can to enable you to be in your power in every single way imaginable. Mm -hmm. I really do. I really do believe that. Awesome. I love it. And you were, you were saying in the, um, that the, the light language that you bring in, it helps to the healing uh, take place 10 times faster than... I the, believe it does. Yes, I yeah. believe it does. It just amplifies it. You know, mm -hmm. I've been doing energy work for many, many years. And yes, you know, we can clear the energy, various ways of clearing the energy. Um, I douse. I'm a big dowser. Every single day I'm dowsing. When I bring in that blank language on top of everything else, it's like, whoosh. I feel like superwoman at times. It just like creates this surge. So mm -hmm. it yes, does amplify. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I love it. Yeah. Good. Thank you. And so that's, that's a wonderful gift that you're, you're, you're adding to your healing and skills, right? Um, and yeah. for your clients. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful addition. So well, and then I've been trained to work with hundreds of pathogens. So I have my list that I test. And if it's a certain coxsackie or whatever's coming in, or, you know, was there some mosquito that had been bitten you? And perhaps it was your grandfather, but you absorb that particular miasm that's come in. Then we go through, we, we clear it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, Good. Yeah. You know, and, and it's like, you never know what's going to come through as a reason for what you're experiencing until you start doing the testing and asking questions. And people might say, you know, Brenda, I want you to go and over here, I want you to check this. And I could be like, I don't know, let's ask because I'm just, you know, middle person here. Okay, so let's, I'm asking, it could be, um, no, actually, we're being guided at a spiritual level, firstly. Mm -hmm. That that could lead to, oh, maybe there's some toxicity as to the same problem, but it's like, no, I'm, we, this is where we need to go. So I'm, I'm being honest up front and no, this is where we need to go. Let's look at the priority because your body is not telling me that I need to go over here. It's saying, no, it can be a toxicity. It could be <clears throat> spiritual, mental, physical um, <clears throat> misalignment. We don't know. But so always asking where to go first and then calling in assistance. So it's about communicating with the body and what the body requires. Exactly. Not necessarily what our mind thinks it should be. And the soul communicating exactly what you need, not what you think you need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good. Thank you. Um, all right. So let me I was just, do you have time for one more person? Um, I'm not sure. I was just looking at the time too. It's like, wow, time goes by so fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's like, it's like, ah, oh, wow. Where did, where did it go? I have no idea. So I know, <laughs> right. I'm looking, I know. So, um, is there anything else that you can share with us today, you know, regarding the light language or, or the healing that can help us to have more ease, have more mm, grace as we move forward in, in our week? You know, I'm going to share, and, and you've probably heard of this too, but I really do find that if you're thinking about light language and that you perhaps, you just know it's there, but you know, you're just not, it's just not coming out yet for you. Mm -hmm. When you're in the shower, <clears throat> as our chakras are opening up, just hum, do some hum, 
listen to music, get your singing bowl out, and just allow yourself to get sort of very, very neutral, very, very quiet inside. Allow the sounds to just whatever comes out. It may sound weird to you. You might think, oh, what am I doing? I'm crazy. What's going on? But just try to relax and allow whatever sounds that come through and know that you're guided to this. There's, mm -hmm. there, there's, there's no accident with that. Just know you're, and I'm getting shivers as I say that, you're constantly being guided as in prayer. So, you know, why not? Yeah. Just let it go. You have nothing to lose as I had nothing to lose with this light language. It, it was to come to me. I'm here to share it. I'm excited because I look at all the different things I've been doing over the years. I've really enjoyed it. But this is what really pumps me up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it I love really it. Yeah. does. And we all, we all can speak it. And I can help you overcome out at whatever could obstacles could be the way that you're also opening up to light language. Mm. Beautiful. Thank you. And that's something you can help people with during the personal session. Well, definitely go there. And though, if that's what you're being guided to, let's get you speaking it. Why mm -hmm. not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. Good. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm sure there's, there are some people who have been wanting to speak light language for a long time and they've just been a little afraid because they might sound different or weird or you know maybe nothing is coming out you know kind of thing right so and, i'm sure and, and we don't want people to have an accident to go okay i don't know if i'm going to make it or not i better do what i need to do why not you know so yeah it's it's like just letting go of the fear and if yeah. there's fears in the way i will intuit what they are where they came from Let's clear them out. And then that's going to open you up more because mm -hmm. there could be fears that you they're not, have nothing to do with you, but your body's holding on to them for whatever, whatever experience, whatever lifetime. And so it's blocking you from speaking light language. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> wow. I loved it. I loved, you know, I, I received so much myself personally from the light language that you did generally for everybody as well as from the from the individual um Good. people you know like Susanna and Julia because it's like it's about willing to receive right willing to be mm -hmm. just receive and be open and you know we can all you know the light language is, it isn't specific to anybody you know it's like if you're hearing it you can receive it and it will help you yes. right yeah yes. absolutely is yes. it connected to Jesus consciousness it's connected to light. <laughs> I would say yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it's, it's, yeah. Christ consciousness, the higher vibrations. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, G Jesus gets a bad rap sometimes, but yeah. Oh, yeah I, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I'm not, I, I don't go to church, but you know, Jesus mm. is my, is, 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 is one of my guides. So it's like. Yeah, exactly. You know, but he gets a bad rap. This is like, yeah, well, you know, but yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so thank you for that question, Carol. That made me laugh. It's like, how do I answer that? So I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good. Awesome. All right. So thank you so much, Brenda. That was wonderful. So powerful. I'm, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for all of us that you are still here yeah. with us, you know, and bringing this through now. So that's great. It's a, it's a wonderful tool in addition for for your clients and for all of us. So yay, I'm so yes. happy. <clears throat> so thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you everybody yeah. for all your questions uh, as well and your feedback. I'm, I'm so happy to see that so many of you were able to receive from the light language uh, processes that Brenda did on the show with us today. So thank you, it's great, yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah, thank you for being here, you guys. And um, um, if I can help you open up, uh, in a one-to-one -one session, believe me, I love to do that. I, I love coaching. I love helping out. So let's get you speaking. We'll do what we can. Exactly. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. Until next time, may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, and radiant health. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Bye for now. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank Bye, you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye, Bye. for now. Bye.